Hi, everyone. I'm here again with Nicole, the gut girl. Thanks for being with us, Nicole. Thank you for having me. We're going to talk about um, hormones, which we talk about a lot. Um, but first, Nicole, why do they call you the gut girl? Well, I can read labs, go over hormones, see what's wrong in the gut biome, um, balance hormones, all of those kind of things. I can look at stool tests, see what's going on. If you have um, a parasite, I can take care of that. I can um, help you eradicate H. pylori, all of those kind of things. Um, I'm a holistic nutritionist, so I get to the root cause of some of these issues that you're having. All right. Very valuable, everyone. And uh, we'll, we'll give you contact information, too, as we progress through this. So stick with us. We won't be long. Um, so hormones. I know that's another thing that you really specialize in. So, you know, it, it's, I, I like talking to you about some of your experience with some of your clients and what happens because it just if, if there's one person out there that has this issue, maybe there's more. So talk to us about getting your hormones right and what are some of the obstacles? There's lots of obstacles, but one, I had a woman come into my practice for the first time this week and it sparked this conversation and she was so right and I felt so bad for her. Um, for the past year, she has like, Previous to this year, she has been bubbly and upgoing and and really a happy-go-lucky person. Within the last year, she's been weepy, has very weird mood swings, and she was just told she was normal. And that's what getting old is like. And she sat in my office in a puddle of tears, and I looked at her hormones, and it was like, she had none, zero, and she's a fairly young person. She's in her late thirties. She should not be having those problems. So they just kind of poo pooed her away and immediately went to the antidepressant depression route. So that's where I, I, and she said something that really sparked my attention. She said, there's probably so many women out there right now that are feeling exactly what I have felt for the for the last year, and and this can be fixed. So, you know, if you're out there and you're feeling moodiness and your weight gain or up down weight, um, you're fatigued, your your libido is down, all of those kind of things need to be checked and you need to check your hormones yearly. There is no reason that a doctor would tell you not to check your hormones yearly. And if they do, you need to go see another doctor or come to someone who can check your hormones because people like me can. And you know, it, it doesn't just affect the person that's feeling this way. Mm -hmm. It affects all the people around them. You know, it affects oh, yeah. their family. It affects their friends. And it, it's, it's hard for those people too, when someone is suffering from this. And, you know, I always say, if you're having problems, like all of a sudden you're gaining weight mm -hmm. um, or you can't lose weight and, you know, you're eating 1,200 calories or 1,500 calories and you're not losing weight or you're gaining weight and you're doing all this cardio, the first thing I think that need to, needs to be evaluated is your hormones. Don't you think so? Oh, absolutely. And that can lead to m bigger testing as well, because if your hormones are off and it's not particularly a time where your hormones should be off, what is going on? Is there, is there bacteria in the mic, in the microbiome? Is there, you know, what is happening to bring down those, those hormone levels? And that can all be checked. When you go into see an OBGYN and you're having problems and they say, or you're having terrible periods, that's another one that just makes me insane. They go in because they're having terrible cycles, but what they're given is the birth control pill or an antidepressant. Okay, but never in that, in that was their hormones tested. 
what are we doing? <laughs> it makes me insane to have people come in and they're in their 40s and never have had their hormones checked. They've had ablations. They've had partial hysterectomies. They've had a full hysterectomy. Oh, well, I don't need to check them now. Yes, you do. <laughs> you need to check your hormones. It's a huge crux of our how we go about life. And Nicole, we talk about this all the time also. Let's, let's be specific with talking about for women and men make sure because i know there's a, a ton of men that listen to this channel make sure your girl's hormones are right and i'm talking about testosterone also Absolutely. because women need testosterone just as much as men they oh, yeah. just they don't, they don't need as much but they need it they're going to have the same symptoms. And if you guys listen to the channel, you hear, especially Nicole and I say this all the time. If you're a woman, you're going to have the same symptoms. If you're a man listening to this, pass this on to your spouse or whoever needs to hear it because women need to have their testosterone right. Also, it's very important. Absolutely. And I don't know, you know, it just makes me so angry when people, specifically doctors out there, are saying we don't need testosterone, that that's too harsh of a, then why would we have it in our bodies to begin with? Why are, do we have it flowing through our veins to begin with? When we deplete it, we still need it. We're living longer. So we need to have these hormones be replaced. And there's nothing wrong with, with replacing the hormones. Yeah. And women also... A lot of times, just like men, need to be on testosterone replacement therapy just as much as men. It's just as important. It doesn't matter if it's low and it gets even lower. Okay, you need to bump it back up. And sometimes um, testosterone needs to be replaced. And Absolutely. That can make a huge difference in a woman's life, which, again, is, you know, we've joked about it before, which is going to make a huge difference in your, in your man's life. Absolutely. So, um, yeah. Any last thoughts on hormones and, uh, suggestions or anything like that? Nicole? You know, I, there are so many ways to test your hormones nowadays. If your doctor is not letting you or are doing it under insurance, I literally just ran an insurance or a lab core, um, test for my daughter who is 20. She doesn't have insurance. She paid $80 to have all of her hormones che checked. Sometimes it's easier going that way than it is through insurance anyways. So trust me when I say there's a million ways to do this. Don't just listen to one person's opinion that you don't need your hormones tested. You do. Yeah. And, you know, the whole like the, the testosterone thing, a lot of physicians, they don't even have that tested in women, right? right? Oh, I see a lot when they come to me and they, they don't have a full panel and it, there's, they think that testosterone is not needed, so they don't write it on the script. And that couldn't be further from the truth. You need to see the entire picture. And a lot of time, there are some deep dive testings out there like the Dutch test, where it's a urine test, where I can really look and see if the pathway is wrong. It, we can maneuver hormones to where they need to be, you might have a bigger, deeper problem. And there are ways to fix this. Yep. And if you get it right, that's a life changer. Oh, total life saving. Yes. All right. So, Nicole, how do people get a hold of you if they want to know more about what you do? And if you mention this video, uh, you'll give them $100 off their initial um, consultation and the initial package, right? Absolutely, because I read labs and suggest labs, all of that. We will do a deep dive consultation into what is actually needed and go over not just most recent labs, but past labs so we can compare. Um, that's part of my services. So you can reach me at the gut girl one, the letter one at gmail.com and mention this and I'll give you $100 off. The number one. The number one. Right. The gut girl one, the number one at gmail.com. And um, that's not counting. I mean, you, we're not even talking about all the nutrition. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, you'll help someone formulate um, a nutrition you know, plan, a healthy Absolutely. way of eating, right? Absolutely. Okay. Thanks for being with us, Nicole. We'll talk Thank to you, you next time.
Thank you for having me.